Hi friends, I've learned that you really like experimenting at home and I have also learned that parents like really not so messy things. So I've got a little trick, super fun and easy for you to do at home with three things that I'm sure you've got. Well, technically four if you include a dish. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need um, pepper, uh, the powdered pepper from your shaker like your salt, but not salt, pepper. I have a pepper mill, so I'm gonna have to twist it to grind it. You're also gonna need soap, which is probably right next to your kitchen sink like mine was. Hand soap will work, a bar of soap will even work. And then you're gonna need water in a plate. And I'm going to try that again. I'm just gonna get some ordinary tap water from my sink and put it back on my plate so you can see it. Um, room temperature water is fine and then you're gonna need a dish so a bowl works really well baking dish anything I like to use things that are white because it's gonna show with the best so crack enough pepper or shake enough pepper and give it a look what do you notice I'm noticing lots of flakes and it's really hard to see online but it, I promise if you try it out it will work it's gonna float on the top because it's really fine and thin um, and we've got all that surface tension. And we talk lots about why it's important to wash our hands. Well, when you use soap, this is what happens to the things on your hands, like germs, dirt, and other things too. So all you need is one drop of soap. And you put it anywhere in the dish, but I like to put it in the middle. And then you watch, and that's all there is to this experiment. If you can see my pepper flakes floating, you'll see what happens next. <gasps> It worked! Now there's a second part to this. I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna try and splice it together. Um, if you have regular sugar, and you probably have sugar in your house too, but if not, don't worry, stay tuned. Welcome back friends and thanks for staying with me. I had to go around my kitchen to find my sugar because we've been making cookies and things that use sugar. Sugar is one of those sometimes sweets that we use for cookies. We don't need it to grow big and strong like we do our milk and our vegetables and fruits and all that other good stuff. So I'm just using generic sugar that I found at the local grocery store. Any brand will do. I washed my hands because I'm going to be putting it into something that I plan to eat later too. I won't use what I use for the experiment, obviously, but I do want to use the rest of the bag to make things. So if that is you, please wash your hands or here's another trick. Go through, find a measuring dish or something that has a small amount. One of my measuring cups. This is a third of a cup. You only need maybe a quarter, so if you have a smaller one, that'll do. That way I don't even have to put my hands in here. I'm gonna scoop out about a third of a cup. Now, if you were watching the first part of the video, you saw after you added the pepper and then you added the soap, the soap made the pepper go to the sides and it's still hanging around if you can barely see. It's not great to see online, um, but if you're trying this out at home, you'll have pepper on the outside or the perimeter of your dish, whatever you're using. But then something magical happens when you add the sugar. And that's why I said I wanted a lot because I have a big dish you probably can't see this on the video, but after you pour the sugar, and I poured the whole scoop that I had, my peppers started to go back. Preschool magic stuff is pretty cool. Stay well, wash your hands lots, get lots of sleep, and we'll see you on Monday.